What I'm here to do is uh, make sure that after I'm done with this shit, that everybody, you know, remember my movie. Uh, 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 Brother, you mentioned the right guy at 54. It seems like Earl's getting a shot at a belt uh, come October. Bud is getting a shot at a belt come August. Who is the right guy for Adrian Brown at 154? Man, the way this boxing shit goes, you never know, man. You know, then they just giving out world titles, man. Let, let, let one of these YouTubers get it. They gonna give, they gonna give them a title, and I'ma go take it, and then I'ma put it on my record as a world title. <laughs> but this is the way this boxing shit going. But um, you know um, I tip my hat to Earl and, and Terrence Crawford. They they doing their thing, and um, you know um, like I said before, right now my main focus is uh, Blair Cobb. To become a champion again, how does it feel to that? Honestly, all of them, all of them are special to me. You know, uh, anyone that I ever won was very special to me. Because all my life, all I wanted to do was be a world champion. And, and every time I won one, you know, uh, I cried tears. And, uh, I'm pretty sure I'll do the same thing. When, when I win the next one. Have you ever thought about much about the Saudis entering the boxing business and putting some big money into it? And what that could be uh, for the future of boxing? Uh, I thought a lot about it. Uh, like I said before, I, I, I've said this plenty of times. Oh, that's that my guy right there. Hey, uh, shout out, shout out, shout out to my youngster. One, he's gonna be one of the big, biggest artists in the world. What's his name? Come here, LeBron. He, he liked the box too. That's my little brother right here. See, that's why I showed up like this. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name, my man? They won. They won. Um. Uh, the, the, the move with Don King, like I said, you know, boxing has been going this way, going that way, going this way, going that way. And then, you know, with me being on this side of my career, I'm like, shit, why not, you know? Who wouldn't want uh, somebody like Don King to, to promote him? Been forever, so, you know, uh, it, it's just greatness. And um, to have him a part of my story is, is amazing. And, and to be... To, to win a world champion and be under Don King will be, be so great to me. He's legendary. How much, how much do you directly deal with Don on a, on a regular basis? How often uh, Don nah, nah, Don, I tell everybody, that's my nigga. <laughs> nah, so a lot. Uh, yeah, nah, nah, for real, I don't, I don't, like, like, I don't, even, even when I dealt with Al Heyman, or, you know, I didn't deal with the, the workers, you know what I'm saying? I dealt with the man, you know, it's just like, it's just like if I'm copping work, I want to I want to come see the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, I want to see the guy. <laughs> Adrian, who's the number one pop and pop fighter in the world right now? Uh, right now, <laughs> being honest, uh, Terrence. I would say Terrence Crawford. Uh, for me, will be Terrence Crawford. Uh, if we if we speaking specifically boxing, Terrence Crawford for me. But if we speaking who that nigga in boxing is, who that guy is, the number one guy, Javante Davis. Why? I mean, you know, um, when you when you go to a tank fight, it's just it's not it's not a, just a fight. It's a it's an event, and the whole world comes to see him. And, you know, you got a lot of people that want to see him lose. You got a lot of people that want to see him win. And you know, he got, he got the world out right now. What's your take on the whole? Uh, 